Assalamualaikum to everyone and especially Dr. Ahmad Shazni bin Kamaruddin who is our lecturer for Biofloc Technology. So today my group will be present about Biofloc Technology applied to tilapia fingerlings production using different carbon resources. So my member will be Fami bin Roslan, Nur Iza binti Zainuddin, myself Nur Mazni binti Mamufi and Nur Iza Tushazwani binti Mama Ismail. I will present uh, about the introduction and objective of this article. Okay, uh, for the introduction, Biofloc technology was developed to solve the problem of available space due to high land cost and to reduce the water requirement. Another advantage of biofloc technology is to control of toxic nitrogen compound that harmful to the fish due to the action of the heterotrophic bacteria and nitrifying bacteria. Some farmers use microbial flock as supplementary feed for their cultured organisms. This is because microbial flock is considered a source of fatty acid, essential amino acid, minerals and vitamin, and as well as immunostimulant, which is to stimulate the immune system of the culture organism. According to Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO 2016, tilapia farming become one of the most important activities to supply fish protein, and Oreochromis neuroticus, or in standard name is Nile tilapia being the second most rare species in the world. To maintain the profitability of farms, the availability of good quality fingerlings at competitive price is very important. Normally, the tilapia breeding companies use expensive aqua, aqua feed that contain high value of protein in their production of tilapia fingerlings. And because of this expensive feed, the production cost is seeing the seeing the tilapia is omnivorous species, so uh, we can replace the expensive aqua feed with the microbial that contain high of protein that can be source of food in tilapia fingerling production. Even in natural environment, microalgae and zooplankton are part of its diet during the fingerling stage. The objective is to determine the effect of biofloc technology system using different carbon source in tilapia fingerling production. First, uh, on productive parameters. Second, demand of feed and last objective is demand of water. Hello, I will be present about materials and methods. So the material that we need for this experiment is first corn flour, wheat flour, sugar and also we do need uh, fiber tanks and our feed is tilapia, tilapia fingerlings or chromis neuroticus water, digital skill, digital meter YSI model 55, digital pH meter um, has, has HAC HDR 2800 plastic bottle 250 milliliter and lastly, we do, we do need, in this assessment, is digital fluorimeter. For, for the methods in this uh, experiment, so we have four parts. So first part is experimental timing. So first step is prepare 12 fiberglass tanks with water filling of 100 liters for each. Second, using the different carbon source, which are corn flour, wheat flour, and sugar. And also, we do have to prepare a control and the need assign for the fiberglass tanks. Then, stop it for three days. After three days, the tanks were filled, were filled um, in 10 uh, mm and an inoculum for 100 ml of heterotrophic bacteria culture UES1 consortium was added to reach an estimate density of 5,000 50,000 CFU 
for the Mili the in each culture then uh, for next step is to promote the growth of heterotrophic bacteria and the formation of bioflocks uh, we do we do need one gram per 100 liter of the respective organic carbon source was added uh, equivalent to 3.5 gram corn flour 3.7 gram of of wheat flour and 2.7 gram of sugar for and uh, for six steps is uh, for vigorous aeration we do each time will be need to provide with an air stone connected to connect connected to a regenerative blower one one over three hp and then the water temperature should be maintained between 25.91 celsius and 25.93 celsius no heater user to determine growth collect the collect the 20 organisms of each tank and take weight by using digital scales lastly survival was determined by the initial and final count of the number of individual and was expressed as a percentage relative growth rate R RGR condition factors CF peak conversion rate FCR and protein efficiency ratio PER were determined by using the following equation so these are the equation of RGR CF FCR and PER So first, the second part is water, water quality. So the water quality must be monitored by following each parameter with own devices or methods. So for the temperature and dissolved oxygen using digital meter YSI more than 55. And for the pH, we are using digital pH meter Denver instrument pH 10. And total sustainability study using HACH dr 2800 so and then um, for the parameter ammonium nitrogen tan using salicylate sal 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 methods for nitrate using for nitrate we are using the azotization method and for nit nitrate we are using reduction and the azote the azotization method then we are to measure the, the materials these materials we are using the same the same device uh, such as a uh, same device like total suspended solid which are HAC HACH DR2800 and then for the parameter called field A the sample I need to collect by weekly using plastic bottle 250 ml then froze it until analyzed. To determine it, we are using digital fluorimeter uh, called Aquaflor, Aquaflor, which previously calibrated with the traditional technique of extraction with acetone. So for the third part, which is we are going to a uh, prosmer analysis of tilapia fingerlings quality. So the trial consisted in placing groups of 50, 50 organisms from each treatment in triplate in two little bags with 50% of water and 50% of oxygen. And then the enriched air um, at, at a salinity of 30% 30 for 12 hours. So the temperature must be like uh, 20, 23 Celsius and 81 uh, and pH 8.1. So the salinity was obtained by diluting process sterilized seawater for 35% and with filtered fresh water 5 mm to determine the approximate composition of the fingerling, fingerling, fingerlings tissue. 50 organisms were randomly collected at the end of the culture 
which were placed on ice and transfer to transfer to the Sonara UCT UES where they were placed in an ultra freezer thermoscientific at 60 Celsius anti analysis. Prior to analysis, the tissue was dry in a convection oven at 60 Celsius for eighty for eighty for forty eight Celsius and forty eight hours. Sorry, forty eight hours to obtain the dry weight of of the tissue. Moisture. Okay, uh, next step is moisture was determined by the difference between weight and dry weight. The ash content was determined by cal cal calcination in muffler furnace Felisa at 500, 550 Celsius for 4 hours. Lipids, lipids were quantified using the sock so stack food system extraction um, with petroleum ether as the extract extracting solution and then lastly for the body are uh, using by micro hand by handle methods so for the last part which are statistical analysis these are using computer so we for the stat statistical analysis we will using a computer to put all the data to submit the to submit to the prop props of normality and homogeneity of, of variance such as of survival and arsing transform. If they pass both, one way ANOVA test will develop when it is not possible non-parametric ANOVA test were used. So, we move to the next part which is result. The result that we get from this experiment, firstly, the lowest weight corresponds to weight flux which is uh, 0 0.30 gram per individual and the highest weight corresponds to sugar which is 0 0.44 gram per individual and natural 0 0.41 gram per individual whereas 2.33 registered in control was significantly significantly higher which is p is less than 0 0.05 for protein efficiency control has the lowest which is 1.17 while the maximum was recorded in sugar which is 2.11. The feed conversion ratio was varied from 1.28 to 1.51 with no significant difference among treatments. Uh, for the uh, next, for the proximal tissue analysis, uh, determine that the crude protein content is 63.9 to 71.0 gram per dry basis. And uh, in this experiment, they had implemented the stress test and this, uh, the test was similar among the treatment which is 98.3 until 99.3%. Next, uh, they used water in biofuel technology in this experiment was 6.1 until 7.8 meter per cube and 23.9 in the traditional system to produce a batch of 10,000 feet. The supply tea in biofluorescence technology varied from 5.8 until 6.3 kg per batch. The control raised to 10.7 kg per batch. The cost of feed that used in this experiment was estimated in 6.53 until 7.80 USD per batch. The cost for the control was estimated 9.13 USD per batch. We move to the discussion. For the discussion, uh, dissolved oxygen is a limiting factor that affects the metabolism of fish, modifies the rate of consumption and influence and influence the growth. Uh, but in this research, it remained above 5.9 mg per liter. The control treatment maintained oxygen concentration due to the 10% per day of exchange rate. And the temperature in this experiment was in the optimum range. Next, tilapia is able to tol tolerate with wide pH range, which is 7.78 to 8.64, similar to 7.2 until 8.00 with other researchers. Next, final total suspended solid was between 168.0 and 226. 
0.6 mg per liter and similar with other research which range from 1 to 8.1 to 169.3 mg per liter. <coughs> the, abundance, the abundance of microalgae depends on the carbon nitrogen ratio. The organic carbon influences the composition of microalgae, promoting the dominance of dye atoms which have which have high nutritional quality. This statement was stated by Du et al. 2018. De Camp et al. said, bioflocculation system, bioflocculation technology system with low carbon nitrogen ratio may have high level of chlorophyll. So for low level of NAT obtained, it indicate that the BFT system operate efficiently in the transformation and utilization of the toxic metabolites. The Martis et al. 2019 said the record was similar to the level of 0 0.32 to 0 0.36 mg per L. NAT, NAT and O2 is toxic for fish. High concentration can cause delay growth growth which was by saying Ni El Said 2016. In this study, the concentration of N and O2 were low due to water exchanges. Ekasari and Mariam in twelve in two thousand twelve they reported the obtain levels similar to the range of 2.09 and 9.29 mg per L. The final weight obtained over a period of 31 days was between 0 0.30 and 0 0.44 gram with a relative growth rate of 5.74 and 7.385 per day. Therefore, the results were compared with other study. The tilapia fingerlings can grow similarly than those raised in clear water. Then, the FCR estimate in bioplot technology treatments were lower than traditional system. By following Palacios and Rakota, in 2007, they said the stress tests are used as an indicator of quality and performance of the fingerlings during final growth. The percentage of survival obtained is 98.3 and 99.3. The fingerlings growth in bioplot had similarly resistant to those that were cultured with traditional method. The other evaluate the resistance of fingerlings by using different salinity which are 10% and 20% at 12 hours. The result indicate that the fingerlings survive at the salinity of 10% and die at salinity of 20%. The fingerlings obtained from sugar promoted bioflop had higher protein content in the tissue which 71% Point zero percent sugar SU is monosaccharide while corn flour CF and wheat flour is polysaccharide the molecular differences could affect the availability of organic C wheat flour WF show the lowest productive performance due to its physical characteristic and biochemical composition Protein of the supply feed was 35%, although the tilapia tissue was higher than 52.7 uh, to 61.13% reported by Lara Flores et al. 2003, who included prebi probiotic in the feeding of tilapia fry. It proved that biofloc, biofloc complements the nutritional requirements for tilapia fry, which was reflected the quality of their tissue. Lipids in the tissue in these experiments were between 11.3 and 16.1% lower than the level reported by other researchers. Due to the method, it is, 
it is happen because due to the method of use be between the different authors. This is our la our last slide. The lipid content in bioflow is low 3 and 4%. This is stated by Emerin Chiano et al. 2013. The pelleted feed has between 7 and 8% which would have expected higher content in the treatment control. The ash content in this experiment was between 11.6 and 14.1%. Similar to Rodriguez, Cherna et al. 1996 and Lara Flores 2003, who reported intervals from 13.4 to 15.6 and 13.1 to 14.7%. For the present study, Sugar could be replaced by molasses and the cost of production would be decreased. Based on the results, the fingerling obtained in wafer technology with corn and sugar as carbon source had similar zootechnical performance to the control. Wafer technology promotes significant saving in feed and water compared to the traditional method and also high percentage of survival were obtained after the stress test in all treatments. The production of tilapia fingerlings was evaluated in commercial facilities condition. As a conclusion, the bioflot technology system is more effective than traditional culture system. Bioflot technology can improve the economic revenue and be considered a potential alternative as an eco-friendly aquaculture model in tilapia fingerlings production. Okay, last but not least, for the recommendation, we would like to suggest to use the microorganism in bioflock, which is this microorganism partially can replace the protein content in the diet or decrease its dependence of the fish meal. Consumption of microorganism in wafer technology can reduce the food conversion ratio and consequently cause in feed. Next, recycling of feed and reduction of water use can decrease the discharge of nutrients into the environment and also can lower the production cost. Lastly, this technology needs fine tuning and its implementation need further intensive research in order to make this technology a major feature of future sustainable freshwater aquaculture.